C'è Pirlo, 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 ancora Pirlo di Tecco, Pirlo, goal! Hello, you're listening to Calcio Daily, everything you need to know about Italian football in less than five minutes. Ciao ragazzi, this is Andrew with your Calcio Daily for Thursday, February 17th, our 175th daily show in a row. Before we begin, remember that Calcio Daily is a value for value podcast, so you donate what you think the show is worth, and the best way to do that is via the Fountain Podcast app on the iPhone or Android. Or you can now buy each episode as an NFT on OpenSea. Just search OpenSea.io for Calcio Daily. Inter Milan put in a heroic performance at San Siro last night in their Champions League round of 16 game against Liverpool. From the start, Liverpool struggled to find their aggressive attacking rhythm, Inter's press choking their usual supply to the front three. When they did get into the Inter box, they found the defensive trident of Skriniar, De Vrij and Bastoni in no mood to let them past, hurling themselves at the ball to block. De Vrij clearly suffering double vision after a bang on the noggin. Indeed, it was Inter who had the best chance of the first half, Chalanoglu finding some space in the box to shoot, but the ball thundered back off the crossbar to safety. Perisic was having a great game, always popping up in clever positions and even having the better of Alexander-Arnold. Jurgen Klopp made changes at half-time, bringing on Roberto Firmino, but it was his triple change on the hour, bringing on Diaz, Henderson and Keita, that gave Liverpool control on the field for the last 15 minutes. After a screen-yard block gave Liverpool a corner, Roberto Firmino flicked his header from the corner of the six-yard box past Handanovic, who was badly wrong-footed. More poor keeping from Handanovic for Liverpool's second, a cross from Alexander-Arnold was headed across the box by Van Dijk for Salah to sweep in. The interkeeper was mysteriously glued to the spot by his post as the ball rolled into the centre of his goal. There was huge disappointment at the end for Inter, who will need every second of their recovery time before their game on Sunday. Some great games in the Europa League tonight, especially in Spain, where Barcelona play Napoli. Elsewhere, Lazio are away to Porto, while Atalanta are at home to Olympiacos. We have a luxurious four-day weekend of Serie A this weekend, and here are the fixtures. On Friday, we have Juventus Torino. On Saturday, Sampdoria Empoli, Roma Verona, Salernitana Milan. On Sunday, Fiorentina Atalanta, Venezia Genoa, Inter Sassuolo and Udinese vs Lazio. While finally, on Monday, it's Cagliari Napoli and Bologna Spezia. That's all from us today. Remember to support us via a donation on the Fountain Podcast app. And until tomorrow, this is Andrew saying Arrivederci ragazzi, a domani. (laughs) 